name is Jacob Rapage. I'm an artist based in Albury, Wodonga. And uh, we're talking about my exhibition Circumspice at RACV Art House. The installation deals with Creswick as a site and links it with Ballarat and Melbourne as these three different sites that have all been closely interrelated with gold mining and industry in general. And, and my hope is that the installation will draw out and tease out some of those small idiosyncratic ideas that uh, link up Ballarat, Melbourne and Creswick. And the blackwood frames that appear in the exhibition uh, are based off around a 1940s, 1950s map of Creswick and they adhere to this very strict geometric grid and for me it's both a reference to Creswick as a site and a place but also draws back to Melbourne and sets up these links about how we divide and try to make society communities efficient. It functions very obviously as a, a way to hold photographs and, and help to set up these thematic links between images. And so the materiality of the installation is really important and blackwood for me, something that as resistive to fire and as a native species to this area, it feels quite pertinent as a material that holds quite a lot of different metaphors in how we relate to environment and industry and fire as both a regenerative and a destructive practice. The diptych as a, a, a material use and a, a kind of a, an ideological use, I guess, in my practice uh, first came to being as a way of asking the viewer to look again and say, spend some more time. I, I've, I've always found that people looking at photographs, because we're so inundated with them, it'd be a quick glimpse, a glance, and then carry on. And so I was hoping early on that that would just set up a confusion in the viewer to really give them more time to spend with the work. The exhibition title, Circumspice, uh, helps to frame those diptychs, but also you know, draws more generally as a, a way of thinking about the, the exhibition. It comes from the School of Forestry motto, um, and it means to kind of to survey, to look closely, to pay attention, to look again. In the hallway, uh, there's an exhibition of, I guess you would call it a survey of my work. They're an attempt to illustrate both pre and post industry and, and open up those spaces for consideration. Particularly, most recent work in Queenstown, shot in the Iron Blow, which is the most early kind of open cut mine for copper mining in Tasmania. In that work, there's this collapsing of industrial tools printed on perspex over those images of the mine. Um, and those works sit really nicely with the rest of the works in the hallway is this thoroughfare and through line for mapping regional New South Wales and Victoria and Tasmania and how all these sites might be interwoven and linked. A really key part of the installation in Art House is Builder, an artist book. The book itself is designed very specifically to in the way that the exhibition is quite static and, and quiet, the book allows the viewer, I hope, to, to move more directly between the city and the town. And there's kind of an openness in certain pages that allows you to spend time considering the relationships between images more directly. Uh, the installation also includes a number of other works on the floor, effectively. The first work that you'll see as you walk in is Creswick State Forest Kodak Portra 24 Hours. Um, it was made by burying a roll of film in the ground for 24 hours. My hope is that it sets up a question about environmental agency and, and what that relationship is between environmental sites that we use for production and industry against the, the very strict harshness of some of the architecture that you'll see on the works on the wall and in the book. After you visit the installation, I hope that you might take the time to head out to Creswick, walk around, survey the spaces and the sites, see if you can see any of the architecture or images that are in the book on the wall, and think about our relationship to place, environment, and how these shadow places of production link up to cities like Melbourne.